Hello everyone, this is Sandra from Wallifier.com and Whimsy Dreams. In this short tutorial, we are going to create a vintage style, a super cute tag that you can use for your product, say in your packaging or something like that. So let's get started. We start out by creating a new design, create a design up here in the corner custom dimensions this time we will have it four by six inches four by six inches like this and we create the background first go to elements grids and we have this background here. And now we go to the colors of this. So let's collapse this one and go here. And we choose a pink color this time. And I have the hex code here magically prepared. So And now it looks like this super cute muted pink color it's like this and now next step is to add a holder for the frame that we are going to apply so back to elements grids and now we shrink it a little bit to fit this tag like this and center it now we go to uploads and we are going to upload this beautiful uh, frame that is made for just labels and stuff like that packaging and you know as it has white in it it's super easy to apply to colored background so it's called Tina and it's available in my Whimsy Dreams shop. And I drop a link down below to, uh, to the listing so you can grab it if you want to. But you can use any frame you like and suits your branding, of course. Drag it into the box like this. Now you see that the Tina frame is a little bit cut off here. So just expand the frame a little bit the bounding box here and then we shrink it again like this now it fits perfectly a little bit larger i think like this and now it's time for the text i'm gonna choose uh subheading like this just to start out like this i have the premium version of um, canva so if your view here looks a little bit different it's due to that you might have the free version but no worries there we will select a font that is available in the free version as well so let's make it centered at least before we start and now we do a triple click here to activate the whole thing and i zoom in a little bit too so we can see better then i go to the fonts here and i select this hammersmith it is called Hammersmith one like this and we activate it and And now we shrink it a little bit Maybe to 10 here. 
and not capital. Like this, I'm back to text again, and now we ha add a heading like this. Collapse this menu, triple click to activate the whole thing. Now we search for a font that is called Pinion Script. Like this. So my little fake company here is called Sandra and Odo. Odo is my dog, so <laughs> we just got ourselves a new business. And we center it in the middle of the design like this. Now you can go here and you duplicate by using this. Go to three dots and duplicate and make things super quick and easy. We like it easy. <laughs> also made capitals, made in fin, Finland, like this. Now the best thing is to zoom out a little bit and adjust it like this maybe. Highlight it and move it to the center like this and again highlight it the color of the text i want it to be my magical brown color here so like that i will drop the hex code to the brown color in the description as always we have to make it a little bit smaller I think like this let's see here highlight everything and make sure it's centered like this now you go to a download PDF print if you are going to print this beauty. Crop marks and bleed are recommended as we have this uh, background in pink so you can crop it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a super quick one and you find all the things that I used in this tutorial in the description below, of course. And if you want to learn more about Canva, I have this class with the basic skills uh, of using Canva and you will learn how to create printables that are super, you know, cute and fun. Uh, it's a, in a whimsical style and your files will be, you know, perfect for selling on Etsy and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, you find a link below as well in the description. And if you want to join the Facebook group, you are so welcome. You find the link below in the description as well. Uh, in, the, in the Facebook group, we talk about Canva, designing and creative life. So I love to meet you there. Now have fun. Bye bye.